Our research group uh, is broadly a synthetic biology um, group. That's a very broad term, um, but I think that's one of the fun things about the research that we do is that you get to work in a lot of different areas. Um, so broadly, we think about information in biological systems, whether it's contained in DNA, proteins, in cells, uh, the structure of cells, and we think about how to manipulate it, how to harness it um, for different various applications. One of the exciting things I think about synthetic biology is that the tools that you develop and work with can touch upon so many different areas um, and different applications. Um, so our group, for example, uh, have current projects working in the storage of information in DNA, so as potential replacements for hard drives. Um, we work on studying the root causes of autism and Angelman uh, syndrome, neurodevelopmental disorders. We also have other projects that are more fundamental in nature, looking at how genes are turned on and off in yeast, as well as how to create nano uh, sensors and scalpels, uh, control and sense the physical structure of um, our genomic material in uh, living cells. I think those fundamental projects also have um, strong potential applications in, in a broad variety of um, areas, including human health, um, engineering cells to produce biofuels, um, and many other applications. Our group approaches uh, student education in a somewhat holistic way, I would say. Um, really the, the primary goal uh, for students that join our groups, uh, especially PhD students, is that they leave as independent, creative um, leaders that can drive um, and dictate the future path of whatever field interests them. Uh, to achieve that, of course, there are a lot of specific technical communication type skills that we also work um, a lot on. So the students will learn all the technical background and experimental skills necessary to work in a, in a synthetic biology field. But they'll also learn how to communicate effectively, both in written form and in oral form, um, how to structure their ideas in a logical framework. Um, that's compelling and persuasive to grant reviewers or to employers um, and, and to funding agencies, whether public or private. Um, and lastly, I hope that, you know, that what they gain is several years of their life that they enjoy um, being able to explore science. Um, and uh, I think a very major part of that is enjoying their colleagues, learning from their colleagues, and the fact that our group works on so many different areas. There's a opportunity to learn from diverse people um, as well as diverse uh, project areas. Mm -hmm.